Sometimes you have to give uh, names to create a focus on something that people in that moment is not seeing. But when people recognize it, you can also recognize that maybe that name is not so needed anymore. I will not say that the name social innovation is not needed, but for sure, 20 years ago, it was mandatory to use it because when people say innovation, there was 90, including myself, so 100% innovation means technological innovation. So it was mandatory to say, look, this is social innovation because it's not the technological one. Now progressive people recognized that innovation means an invention that enters into the reality and changes something in the system. And uh, this process can start from a technological laboratory and the right to products has changed the society, or can start from some invention that happened in the society, and afterward they spread and they change, and maybe they ask also for new products and new technologies. So, <clears throat> In some way, this uh, notion that innovation is larger than the technological innovation is much more spread today than in the past. And at that point, people recognize that uh, as designer, given that we work on the intersection between technological and social issue, uh, there are so many social issues that now are changing that even if people are not talking about uh, specifically about social innovation, they are mostly dealing with social innovation, social, social, social cultural innovation. Me and everybody, we have been, uh, everybody of my age, has been trained uh, in a period in which design was considered some capability in the culture that was related to industry. And most frequently was called industrial design. And talking about the industry, in particular about uh, the industry of the middle of the last century, there was the mass production, the motivation that both at that time to apply design capability to the industrial product was that the industrial product was brand new. So you needed the, to design them. But afterwards, this kind of change spread and you had not only the industrial product, but also the services, but also the way in which you organize uh, the institutions. Everything entered in the process of transformation. And so in some way, the capability of design that at the beginning was applied only to the industrial product of the last century started to be applied to everything is changing. And therefore, now we discover that uh, there was, uh, was only by chance that at the beginning design was only for the industry because the design capability can be applied to everything in which you have a technological and uh, cultural issue together in a changing world. And in my view, if we put, put together all the different names that we give to design to today, service, strategic, interaction, material, etc., maybe it's better to change the definition and to say we have a design that can be applied in uh, whatever could be asking for this kind of capability. And given that this is not recognized by everybody, and maybe it's not already the 100%, on one side I call it emerging because it's quasi visible how it's spreading this new attitude in a very short time, and at the same time, I, I like to call it the, the beginning of the design of the 21st century because most probably it will be the one that will characterize the next decades.